Okay. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the uh, organizer for giving me an uh, opportunity to share our intercropy research knowledge in the past decades. Uh, we did a lot of uh, intercropy research in uh, past years. So uh, today, I would like to uh, give uh, some uh, topic about uh, beneficial plant plant interactions in intercropy. That uh, Wopka asked me to do. Uh, I think the, uh, yesterday's uh, lectures, uh, uh, lots of introduction to intercropy. I think uh, uh, all of you know intercropy very well. So I would like at the beginning, I would like to show some picture of the intercropy in China. As you will see, the, this picture is uh, uh, wheat and uh, Faba B uh, intercropping. And uh, this one is the uh, uh, Sorbi maize intercropping in Hebei province in North China Plain. Uh, and uh, this is a uh, peanuts maize intercropping in uh, Henan province, North China Plain. And uh, uh, as well as a uh, pea maize intercropping in Gansu province, that is uh, located in northwest part of China. As well as uh, uh, wheat, the sorbi, tobacco, and the peanut, millet, and peanut, faba bee, and the maize intercrop system. So uh, I think the, uh, some of you probably familiar with this picture that is uh, appeared in a uh, 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 way uh, cover of issue of the global change biology where we uh, where papers published in that uh, journal together with uh, uh, Wen Feng and uh, Wokka and uh, all of uh, colleagues. So you can see a lot kind of intercrop system practiced by farmers. So, uh, I would like to show you this uh, picture. So three rows of maize in the middle. Uh, all the uh, soy date and the cultivar and the fertilization uh, applications all same. Uh, the only difference is the uh, neighbors. You can see in the uh, uh, left side the rows of maize neighbored with uh, wheat. In the right, you can see the uh, rows of maize neighbored with the uh, uh, faba bee. If the maize neighbored with the faba bee is much, much better than uh, uh, neighbored with the wheat. So this is a typical interspecific competition and the facilitation between two species. So in past a few years, we would like to know what's uh, happened beyond ground. So firstly, we uh, did an experiment in a field condition. Uh, use a root barrier between two species. Uh, we insert plastic sheet barrier that means uh, no any root interaction, nano mesh barrier. That means uh, interspecific rhizosphere effect only. No root barrier means uh, interspecific rhizosphere effect together with the special effects below ground. So let's look at the uh, phosphorus uptake by two crops uh, under different root interaction condition. You can see uh, this this one is uh, uh, without any uh, root interaction. Uh, this is a uh, uh, interspecific rhizosphere effect. Together uh, it's a uh, uh, interspecific rhizosphere effect plus space complementarity. So you can see the phosphorus uptake uh, by Faba B was not a big influenced by it, root heat reaction. However, the phosphorus acquisition by maize was increased with the 
uh, increased rotate reactions. So we would like to know why uh, rotate reaction between two species can increase phosphorus acquisition by mass. So we conduct a greenhouse experiment like this. We uh, added some uh, insoluble phosphorus and uh, soluble phosphorus into the soil. We still use a root barrier like this, uh, mesh barrier, no barrier, and a solid barrier. Uh, you can see the Faba B's growth is uh, not big influenced by root barriers. However, the root uh, the uh, growth of maize was uh, greatly influenced by rooted uh, reactions. You can see compared to this uh, maize plants, that is a, a solid barrier with the uh, uh, faba The uh, maize grow with a uh, reaction with a uh, root heat reaction with the uh, faba is uh, much better. A uh, similar phenomenon was uh, observed in the uh, alumina phosphorus uh, supply and the soluble phosphorus supply, that is uh, calcium phosphorus. Let's uh, look at the uh, phosphorus uptake by two crops under different rooted reactions. You can see the uh, phosphorus uptake by mass was greatly uh, difference between uh, phosphorus forms supply. So uh, in the soluble phosphorus, mass can get much more phosphorus. In the insoluble phosphorus, it's much less. Uh, other interesting phenomena in this experiment, we found uh, that the root interaction between this, this column, uh, a little bit of that column, that uh, phosphorus acquisition by mass is increased by root interaction to this two, compared to no root interaction, this one. So in a, a different phosphorus supply, we observe the similar things. So we know why the uh, rooted reaction between faba bean and the maize can increase faba beans, increase uh, phosphorus acquisition of um, uh, maize. So we uh, conduct a, a green horse experiment. We use a uh, agar gear film uh, added some uh, pH indicator. Uh, if the uh, uh, colors became yellow, that means uh, uh, root uh, uh, means uh, pH decreased in the uh, rhizosphere. So these two uh, pet, uh, plate is uh, faba bean's roots, is uh, 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 maize's roots. You can see faba bean acidifies the rhizosphere while protein exudation from roots, but mass did not. The other, uh, we, uh, in other greenhouse experiments with uh, soil culture, we measured the malate and the citrate concentration in rhizosphere soils of faba bean was a significant uh, greater the other two crops, sorby and uh, sorby and maize. So here we have a, a summary beneficial the effect of phosphorus acquisition of intercrop between legume and cereals. That means the faba bean can utilize the sparing uh, soluble phosphorus, which result from a greater exudation of organic acid and a, a greater rhizosphere acidification. It has the phosphorus acquisition of maize was derived from root interaction from a neighbor faba bean, which mobilized the insoluble phosphorus from soils. Therefore, interspecific rhizosphere effect is aware of the mechanisms of phosphorus efficient use in the intercropping of legumes and non-legumes. 
So, uh, second, I'd like to show some nitrogen benefit in legume to zeros etocrop system. We still use this kind of uh, root barrier experiment. That means uh, a plastic sheet barrier, no rooted reaction, nano mesh barrier. Uh, that's just a uh, uh, interspecific rhizosphere effect, and uh, no any barrier be below ground. That means uh, uh, interspecific rhizosphere plus spatial effect together. We found the uh, with the uh, uh, rooted reaction increase the uh, nitrogen acquisition by both crop. But by being the maize increased compared to a no rooted reaction. So we'd like to uh, know why uh, rooted reaction can increase uh, nitrogen acquisition by FABAB and maize. Firstly, we'd like to know uh, is there any nitrogen transfer from legumes to zeros because legumes can. Uh, fix uh, atmosphere nitrogen. So we inject inject some nitrogen 15 into the uh, legumes plants. After two or three weeks, we look at the uh, nitrogen in the uh, zeros. Uh, actually, we found that only very small proportion of the wheat nitrogen was transferred from Faba B. So Direct nitrogen transfer from legumes to uh, zeros is not main pathway of uh, nitrogen facilitation in the uh, eto crop system. So we uh, like to know what uh, uh, how the two species competition the uh, nitrogen in the soil. So we added some nitrogen 15 into the soil, we still use a, a, pl a plastic sheet barrier, nano mesh barrier, no barrier in a green horse with a pot experiment. From left to right, you can see the rooted reaction increased. So this is a result. You can see along the rooted reaction increasing. Nitrogen 15 uptake by wheat is uh, increased. However, the Nitrogen 50 by FABAB is uh, decreased with uh, uh, along the rooted reaction increasing. So that means uh, wheat use a more soil the fertilizer nitrogen, but FABAB acquire less nitrogen from soil the fertilizer by rooted reaction. But uh, the question is uh, how, uh, how much the nitrogen uh, actually in the uh, experiment we did not have found the nitrogen acquisition by FABA B is decreased. Actually, it's a little bit increased. So we would like to know what, uh, how, how much the nitrogen uh, fixate, fixation from uh, intercropy and monoculture of legumes. We measured the nitrogen uh, derived from atmosphere of Chickpea, faba bee, and the soil bee intercrop with the maize. In three years, uh, in, uh, we get crops in underfield condition use this uh, this method. We found the intercrop with the uh, uh, maize increased both the proportion uh, of nitrogen derived from atmosphere and the uh, amount of the uh, symbiotic nitrogen fixation of chickpea, faba bee, and uh, soil bee. So this we can uh, have a second conclusion that the interspecific belong ground interreaction play an important role in enhanced nodulation of legumes. Interspecific belong ground interreaction enhanced the proportional nitrogen derived from atmosphere of legumes. However, the uh, increase uh, proportion nitrogen derived from fertilizer and the soil of zeros. Uh, 
So they have a niche differentiation between legumes and the cereals in this system. That's a, another uh, beneficial plant plant interaction in the intercrop system. So we we like to use this. Uh, uh, so uh, competition is a uh, very important for uh, force uh, legumes to uh, fix uh, more nitrogen. So we like to we have we want to use uh, this principle to uh, fix more nitrogen of legumes. Uh, we expected the uh, intensity of soil nitrogen competition by wheat is uh, greater than mass. So we expected a nitrogen fixation uh, for fiber B intercropity with the wheat is uh, more uh, greater than fiber B intercropity with the mass. However, after field experiment, we did find the uh, the uh, the expected uh, uh, result. We didn't get the uh, expected result. Actually, we found the uh, measured nitrogen fixation in FABB intercropity with the maize is more than uh, FABB intercropity with the wheat. Therefore. The decline of soil nitrogen uh, concentration caused by inter, uh, intercropped cereals is not the only one uh, mechanism for maize promoted FABB nodulation. So, is there any other mechanism underlying the enhanced nodulation and uh, uh, biological nitrogen fixation of intercropped legumes? So uh, we uh, back to the uh, legumes uh, uh, natural uh, formation uh, processes. Uh, firstly, uh, legumes exudate some uh, signal uh, like the flavonoids is stimulated uh, uh, no, do, uh, no genes in rhizos B uh, associate the rhizos in the rhizosphere of of, uh, leg, uh, of legumes. They release the uh, no do factor that is uh, uh, can influence the uh, root hair default, deformation of the legumes. Finally, together uh, form a nodule. So we hypothesis uh, root exudates of maize can influence these processes to enhance the, the nodulation and the nitrogen fixation. So in, uh, we finally we uh, get some uh, evidence to support our uh, hypothesis. FABB roots hair deformation uh, 12 hours after inoculation with the Razo B was significantly increased by adding maize root exudates, but not by wheat and barley root exudates. So we uh, also found uh, maize root exudates significantly increased the number of nodule or FABB roots, as well as uh, their fresh wheat compared with the uh, cultural and with the uh, wheat or barley root exudates. Neither barley or wheat root exudates affected the FABB nodulation. Similar result was observed for rate of nitrogen fixation. So we also found the some signal compounds in root exudates, uh, the genistin concentration in roots exudates collected from a mixture of maize and the fava B was 73% greater than that of the mean of the two crops grow along. Therefore, the enhanced of the nodulation was likely due to the enrichment with the genistin in root exudates when FABB was intercropped with 
a mess. This way is a further beneficial plot, plot and plot interactions in the inter crop system. So maize root is identity contains significant flavonoids and promoted flavonoids synthesis in Faba B. Therefore, trigger nodulation with the uh, involvement of uh, hormone signaling and uh, stimulated the nitrogen fixation while enhanced the activity of protein involved in nitrogen fixation and the gene uh, expression and the physical uh, uh, physiological level. So, uh, because the uh, time limitation, I do, do not uh, show the details about the G and the physical uh, debt. Uh, so, uh, uh, finally, I would like to show some uh, benefit from uh, a field uh, experiment because. Uh, uh, in the uh, inter crop system over year, the, every year. So uh, it uh, uh, removes the soil nutrient uh, every year much more than monoculture. Also, uh, they use uh, uh, soil intensively. So we would like to know long term uh, sustainability of the inter cropping. Uh, but that need require the long term field experiment to approve that. So in uh, uh, many, many years, many years ago, we conduct a field experiment in a, a different location, fertile soil area. This is a very old uh, oasis, uh, a little bit of new uh, oasis and uh, very, very uh, new claimed desert soil in northwest part of China. This uh, soil uh, organic matter is uh, differ. A uh, little higher is a uh, medium and uh, very poor soil. The uh, also soil uh, total nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, potassium. All of them is uh, different. So we have uh, uh, this, uh, I think it's, uh, some of uh, uh, colleagues from Wagner, uh, for example, for uh, Wopka and uh, uh, Yonholm visit this experiment uh, uh, many years ago. So I would like to show some results from the uh, long-term field experiment. So this is uh, already published in a uh, plot story in 2015. The main results showed the etocropy maintained the stability of the most of the soil chemical and enzyme activities relative to rotation and the monoculture in the relative fertile soil. In the uh, in fertile soil, for example, in Jinyue, uh, Gansu province, we measured the, the soil properties for three years, uh, but we uh, uh, average three years together, we, you can see the soil organic matter, total nitrogen, uh, orsin phosphorus, and uh, available potassium, pH, and uh, acid, uh, acid phosphatase, urease, and uh, uh, nitrate reductase, and uh, sucrase, and also mean weighted diameter of uh, aggregates. Uh, you can see compared blue line monoculture intercropping can increase almost all of the uh, parameters of soil fertility except for soil also phosphorus and uh, available uh, potassium but pH is didn't change so we give uh, uh, another uh, conclusion the infertile soil intercropping over year is at least 12 years and maintain relative stable productivity and facilitated soil aggregation. In moderately fertile soil, over year was increased with the increased year. Intercropping improved the soil physical and the chemical properties significantly and had less effect on enzyme activity. In new 
newly reclaimed desert soil, that is a very poor soil. Over the years, it was increased with the uh, increased year. Intercrop improved soil physical and chemical properties. So I'd like to thank my uh, previous students and the collaborators in the past uh, 20 years. They have did lots of work. We col col collaborated closely in this long-term experiment and the green horse field experiment. For your attention.